Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model a crane hook. Let's start. In the front plane, I am opening a sketch. And the first thing that I create here one construction geometry. And here I randomly leave a line and say to it make horizontal. And then while my control pressed, I'm saying to my line and point it will be a, a midpoint relationship here we have 120 dimension and first i create here one ellipse and i close out here that i want to Remove that. After this operation, I just say here you'll be in a 75, your radius 90, going to be 90 millimeter. And then we go to arc. In the center again, we place one arc, two point, and while control is pressed, merge. Our radius value here 90. And I pick an arc with three point. I placed here and I'm saying to this point you'll be a tangent. If you say here you coincident, this radius will be here somehow tangent, or in the most common way that I'm most using for me, placing here a line and then saying tangent and then making it vertical and after here we just say here 25 because the diameter of hook will be here 50 uh, this is good after i place here an arc again which is previous 65 here I place one 90 millimeter circle and I convert to construction geometry and I say 90. Now placing here one arc again with three point. First making to this line, uh, circle tangent and trimming the unnecessary part. I place here a line which is 35 degree and from here to here will be 33 and then the radius value will be 75 after I'm connecting this two point the line and I'm saying later you'll be a construction geometry and be perpendicular to, or to this line. And then the value will be here, just 12. We complete most of the thing and we close now and we go open a, another sketch. Uh, firstly, better to convert this uh, construction and coming to our new sketch. I Convert this one, convert this one, and as we did before, here a line. I will show one thing. Coming back to point, program gives me an arc, exactly like this. And giving here a tangency relationship, this will be a line, uh, construction geometry, I mean. After this operation, we close the geometry and trim the unnecessary sides. This is the profile. These are guide curves in fact, not profile. And then later I'm placing here one uh, circle and saying to this coincident, saying to this coincident, I'm not saying, I'm not placing in origin and removing my 
circle here because I get some problems. I didn't understand it. You can try when you are uh, modeling. Maybe you will also notice. After this operation, uh, we get our model. The thing that we made it with swap, because of we are using swap, the circular circular profile always protected along the whole uh, guidelines and the normal path. We could make this with also loft pan, but then we would not have that circular shape in everywhere. This is our operation. It's done now. I'm going to create a here a tip. I open a sketch and font plane, and I place here where spline. I combine my uh, place with uh, my spline, and I'm saying here. Uh, tangency. This tangency made uh, with uh, while we press the control and selecting two object, we are having here a virtual line created uh, like provided by program. If you are not able to manage it, you should maybe open your uh, old sketches uh, guideline and the pad to make them uh, tangent. After this operation, we go surfaces, field surface. This is the boundary. This is the, the constraint curves. And we are going to create a tangency. Then this tip will be everywhere tangent to this surface. Sometimes some uh, watchers asking me why I'm using instead of uh, solid uh, surfaces, but we don't have a surface comment like this, how, how I made it here. The, the, the sorry the solid comment maybe you could make me a dome but i'm not sure anyway uh, first we are going to copy the surface with offset surface basically i write there zero and i get one copy from that surface and i open my tip i'm coming to need create solid with these two objects Will be first needed and then create a solid. If you look our folder here, we have two solid, and now I'm going to use combine, and I'm writing here combine add this two body. If you look now, it is combined and there is one body. Then we create here a sketch, basically converting to surface and we make 20 millimeter uh, extrude and here we gain a sketch and 10 millimeter offset and 15 millimeter again a uh, uh, extrude here we can put uh, some chamfers by two this is not looking so much so proportional then i am going to change to this seven and a half maybe after this operation we create here one uh, circle on the, on the origin which is 50 you could uh, convert this line also And I'm saying to my program, make for me like 40 millimeter high. I'm going to use pitch four. Then it's good to have a, this free chamfer and to add. We should have here a metric 50. If it is not, you just sub find uh, uh, to add with four pitch. That's also fine. And I will have 40 millimeter high and I will make offset. 
to start pro properly in the beginning and the rest is going to be fine and this is good and here we create a sketch and saying to program that you cut it for me how a thread is is finishing in fact um, basically model was like this and we are done with that i hope you have learned something new if you search some advanced videos please do visit my channel and thanks for watching